Hello, this is Jessica Fox from Florida Virtual Bookkeeper. And today I want to show you how I am able to quickly and easily check to see if there's any vendors that I need to collect W-9 forms. This is important for you to know whether you're a business owner doing your own books or you're a bookkeeper maintaining the books for many businesses because it saves you the stress and the hassle of having to chase down W-9 forms at the end of the year when you have a deadline breathing down your neck. So what I do is I customize one of the QuickBooks reports and then I save it for future use. So then I can do a quarterly check and request W-9 forms as I go. Best practice is to always collect a W-9 form before you issue the first payment to a subcontractor. But I know that that's not always feasible. It doesn't always happen. So this check ensures that you're being proactive instead of reactive, and it will save you headaches and stress in January at the end of the year. So I go to the reports tab in QuickBooks Online, and I will modify the vendor contact report. So you can scroll down to it or just use the search field like I do. And in here, this report gives you a list of all of the vendors that have been configured in QuickBooks Online. And what I am going to do is I'm going to customize the columns to remove the information that I don't need and add information that I do need. So I, you can leave the phone number in, in case you may need to call them, but I'm going to delete it. I'm going to leave their email address in case I need to contact them, but I'll delete these other columns. I don't really need that for my purposes, but this is what I add. I add the create date and then I scroll down and add track 1099 and tax ID. Then I'll run the report. And as you see, it will let me know when the vendor was created in QuickBooks, whether the track 1099 form has been checked, yes or no, and if there is a tax ID on file. So if the box is yes, and there's a tax ID in here, that vendor is good. If the answer is no, then there's more information to uh, be researched. But another thing that I do, because this report does not allow you to filter by creation date, it will show every vendor uh, in all of the existence of your QuickBooks Online file. I sort it by the create date and in descending order. What this does is that it will show me the newly created vendors at the very top. That way, anytime I review this list, I don't have to look at the entire long list. I am only looking at the top to see who was created in the past year or in the past quarter, depending on how frequently you search. So now that I got this customized the way that I want it, I want to save this customization so that I don't have to run this report every single time that I want to check. So I will just rename this to W9 uh, vendor check. And you can assign it a group, you can share it if you like, but that's enough for my purposes right now. What this does is that next time when I go to my reports list, instead of searching for it, I'll just go to the reports tab. It's right here and I can run it. So now that I have that report available, what the first thing that I do is look who was newly created in the past quarter. I like to do this check quarterly, depending on how your volume, how busy you are, how many vendors you create, you may want to do it yearly. The key is to do it early. And then I look for those recent ones to see if the box is a yes or no. Don't just go by this column because if you created the vendor in a rush, say you were typing from the bank feed and all you did was type in the name and click add vendor, that box by default is not checked. But it is a good practice as you are creating new vendors. If it's somebody that you know is potentially eligible for uh, receiving a W uh, 1099 form that you will need to connect a W9 form to check that box because it will save you the time later. So I will take a look and look at the vendor names. For some of them, I can tell at a glance, a burger joint and a car wash won't need a 1099 from me. So those are good. But then I look at this one here, it's an individual's name and the track 1099 box has been saved so this person needs a W-9. I don't see an ID, tax ID numbering here. So that means that I either did not collect the information or if I collected it, I didn't save it. So as you go down the list and you identify who may need a 1099 form, for example, I see PAM sites here, it's checked as no. I don't know off the top of my head 
is this person going to need one? So you can then click on the vendor's name and it takes you to the vendor center where you can see the transactions that have been applied for that vendor. And based on the category, I can see legal and professional fees. This is something that needs to be tracked for 1099. So then I can just go right here and edit the vendor and I check the box track payments for 1099. If I already have the W-9 form, I can just type the tax ID right here. If not, I can just save it and know from that list that those are vendors that I need to contact to request that form from. So I hope that this is helpful and it's something that you can easily implement in your workflow so that way you will never have to be scrambling to chase down W-9 forms again. If you have any questions, I am only an email away, support at floridavirtualbookkeeper.com. Have a nice day.